Tonight, protesters in Waco say they are sending the message of not my watch, not on my watch to the Trump administration. It's all in response to the zero tolerance policy that separates parents from children who come into the U.S. illegally from the Mexican border. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live in Waco and has more from protesters as they march to the office of U.S. Representative Bill Flores. Jasmine. Well, yeah, that's right, Doug. Protesters actually ended the rally at the office of Congressman Bill Flores, demanding that he hear their thoughts on the zero tolerance policy. Waco mom Christina Laredo says when she saw the images of children being split up from families on the Mexican border, she was horrified. For my kids to see this in America on the television is horrifying. I don't want my children to think that this is the way that it's supposed to be in America because me as a child, I wasn't raised like this and it wasn't like this. And so I just, my heart hurts for these babies and especially for the mothers that are without their children. Hundreds of other Wacoans felt the same, so they gathered at Heritage Square in opposition of a zero tolerance policy that separates children of adults who are suspected of crossing the border illegally. The rally was organized by a Waco pastor and mother who wanted to take action. We believe that every life of every child, no matter where they are from, no matter your political opinions on immigration right now, that children are sacred in God's eyes. According to the Department of Homeland Security, since April, nearly 2,000 children were separated from their parents who came into the U.S. illegally. In Washington, White House spokesman Hogan Gitley says the White House is not to blame. He doesn't want to see family separation. No one does. It's a horrible situation. What no one is talking about, though, is that's the law. We have to follow the law. Laredo says she thinks the policy is inhumane. Losing, I'm losing sleep. I mean, I'm literally sick to my stomach behind this. And so, yes, I do feel strongly behind it. And I, wherever these people decide, you know, decide to protest, I, I want to follow. Now, a clergy member I spoke to this afternoon said they were told by one of Flora's assistants that he's scheduled to speak with President Donald Trump tonight to discuss the zero tolerance policy. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. Jasmine, thank you very much.